Well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. American Whiskey Experience, uh, take two. Take two, yep. yep. Um, I might try to splice in some of the first one, <laughs> just so they know why we're right. doing a take right. two. Uh, we have a new puppy and uh, she decided to, uh, she didn't like being in the crate, so, uh, so that's, that's why. So we're starting all over again. Yep. That's why we already poured. Uh, but again, let's talk about what we're drinking, right, something so, local. Yeah, it's a local, out of water, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, this is 1970 something. And uh, these were a bunch of guys, a bunch of friends that decided to open, um, open a little business mm -hmm. and have a couple of different offerings, uh, a couple of different bourbons. We actually met them at a bourbon event. Yeah, this uh, past summer. Just shot the shit with them, had a good time, tried a couple of their offerings. Um, this was something actually at the time, I believe, that wasn't even labeled. They had this in a separate bottle. Um, this is a five grain. Mm -hmm. So this is their five grain straight bourbon whiskey. Um, we were trying to guess what the fifth grain or what the right. grain back for was. I think at the end we did figure it out though. I think you know we what? did. I think he told us. I don't think we figured it out. No? Okay. I don't I, think we figured I think it we out. Did. So again, uh, 1970 something out of yep. Waterbury, Connecticut. It's their five grain straight bourbon whiskey. Um, this is an 88 proof, yep. aged five years. And the mash bill on this one is corn, wheat, rye, malted barley. And the fifth is oats. But we just don't know the percentage. We don't know the percentages. Yeah. And uh, cost of this was about 45 bucks. So. But it's straight bourbon whiskey, so yep. it's at least 51% corn, corn, right? Yep. So we know that. Right. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, great, great folks that we met. Um, fun to hang out with, talk, and yeah. uh, just talk about whiskey and bourbon and, uh, you know, their passion for, you know, what we have a passion for, too. So uh, we're definitely going to connect with them at some point. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, get to do a video. Get to do a video with them and stuff like that. But, yeah, uh, yeah it was awesome. Uh, cool label, too, 1970-something. Um, batch one, bottle two ten. Uh, I don't know if they have any other batches out at this point. This one, yeah, but um, right. you know that's something that you know. We'll I think post we, and ask. I think I think it was at the time it was experimental. They weren't yeah. sure if they were going to do it or not. Yeah. So all right. Well, so hey, yeah. we poured. Yeah. Uh, so we pour, we spin, we sniff. Right. We drink. That's about that's it. What we, it that's we tell it. you what we think about it. Yeah. And that's just our opinions. And if you don't like them, well, that's fine. <laughs> you know. Uh, buy, buy, the bottle, buy a bottle. Test buy a bottle. Out. Tell us what, right? what you get. That'd be I the think best it's kind of neat. I don't think I've ever had a, a five green whiskey before, so I thought no. this was this was kind of unique. Um, yeah. And I think the uh, if I remember correctly, the oats do bring a different element a little bit to uh, flavor. Well, it definitely brings it on the palate. I mean, the, I remember well, too, and, yeah. Yeah, and and on the nose. So on the nose, I could I couldn't pick up. What, pick up no, well. but you know it, it's. So for on the nose, you get to me. It's very earthy. It's earthy. It definitely is like that, um, almost like that wet grain, wet hay. Yeah. Um, you get definitely, but I guess we get some sweet. Yeah. I definitely get some sweet as well. And when I when I think of earthy, and I don't like this, but it reminds like, like beets. Beets are earthy. Okay. You know, you get okay. that very that ground. Yeah. That, that dirt. The, that, dirt. Yeah. Yeah. But but also the sweet and the, and the sweet and the beet, and yeah. that's kind of what I got when I think of earthy okay. on this particular. Sometimes see, I say earthy on certain things. It's see, different. I, this I, I get that. I mean, as I. Like you know, I get some raisin. I get some dark fruit, some prunes, and raisin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sweet for me. But it definitely is that sweet grain. So I like get sometimes you've, you've had like we making beer the, the wort and all mm. the grains are boiled, and you get that. You sweet, get that yeah, sweetness out of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but interesting nose. Yeah, I what? Yeah. I also want to know where they source. <laughs> Big secret. Yeah. Big secret. Top secret. I mean, we had a conversation, so we have a little bit of, you know, some yeah. information, but yeah, yeah. it's, uh, cause, cause the product was good. Yeah. And so wherever, yeah. They're, whatever they're doing, they're, they're doing it right. They're doing it right. Well, I gotta but have a sip. Yeah. And, uh, and real, color. you want to go about the color? Sure. It's whiskey color too. Yeah. Um, kind of medium, not too dark, not too light, but yeah, it's, it's actually got yeah. a nice color though it to does. it for, um, you yeah. know, well, it's age five years. So I mean, that's, that's. That's a good point. Right. So I, I like it. But it's a lower proof. It's 88 proof. So it's, you know. So it, it, I'm glad you brought that up because 88 proof to me is just not, not high enough. It's not high enough. Right. But, you know. But there could be a lot of flavor in this so, that, yeah, that, that a, brings that 88 proof up to like a 90 in your mind, yeah, in your well, palate. I always think, like, I mean, I do like higher proof and you like higher yeah. proof as well. Yeah. But if there's something like a 90 proof that's got good flavor, yeah. you know, like, kind of like, um, like I, when we're gonna have, I think we, we, can do it. we're gonna probably release it down the road to Old Forester. Yeah. Uh, that you know, the that 1910. Yeah. It's 93 proof, but it got a lot of good flavor. Yeah, it does. So, so I, I think, and I do recall, 
you know, 88 proof looking at it and thinking, man, I'd rather see this at 100 or, you know, 110 maybe. So maybe, maybe you know, in the future, the next couple of batches, if they cast decide. Five grain cast what's cast right? Five grain cast right. There you go. What's this? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Very smooth, very mellow. Easy, easy step for sure. Very easy. It's got a unique taste to it for sure. It's different. Yeah, it's it's grain forward it, yeah. for sure. Um, um, but there's some like little bits of sweet um, that are a little different, and I think it has has I think it's part of parts of the oat. I don't know how much oat is in there. Yeah, but like I still I still get a little raisin. Mm -hmm. I get some honey. Even like um, like there's honey in there. There's definitely honey in there. There's um, you remember honey suckle? Yeah. That we pull the things. Yeah, the little the flowers. You yeah. pull them and you, you yeah. do the bottom of like the, it's the like stem. that like light little kiss of honey. Yeah. Um, there's like some some I still get like I think I got it in the nose some raisin. Um, remember like like uh the instant oatmeal is like the uh, cinnamon raisin yeah so i so get, you get I some get, of that i get some of that grain forward i get some of that that sweet fruit some mm -hmm. raisin prune a little bit of that in there but that it's 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 almost oily on the, on the palate you know yeah so you know i, I agree with you 100 percent. everything that you're picking up there is something else i'm picking up and i i, I went back to this again uh over the weekend yeah and i've had it for a while um, it's, it's been open for a few weeks. It's no, it's been open for a while. Okay. Um, I just keep forgetting to <laughs> pour right, it. Honestly, right. I right. thought I dated it. I didn't date it. No, of course not. Uh, so I bought it sometime in, you know, 2022, not 2023. Right. Cause 2023, I date all my bottles now. New thing. Yeah, right. new thing. Uh, but I get, I get like a Pillsbury, um, biscuit, like a buttered biscuit. Buttered biscuit. Croissant yeah. type. Like there's like on the front end of my tongue, there's like a buttery, um, like a buttery, like almost like a, uh, like a corn muffin. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, or something, yeah. something like that. I, so, I guess, like, so I'm getting that great, that doughy, yeah. cooked dough, uh, muffin type, you know, those are Pillsbury, even like the crescent a, rolls or the like puff pastry. Kind of yeah. Thing. Something okay. with some butter in there. Uh, it's very creamy. It's good. Um, yeah, I'll tell you for um, an eighty-eight proof. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good flavor here. There's tons of flavor for eighty-eight proof. You know, if I um, said this was hundred proof, you'd be like, okay, cool. Um, right. If I said it was eighty proof, you'd say, okay, it's cool because there's a lot of flavor. There's in a lot this. of flavor. Um, um, palette is is a little shorter. Yeah. Not super long. No. But um, but I do get residual flavor uh, in the palate. It yeah. Hangs out. The finish is short. The finish going down is short, but palate flavor is still like hanging out in my tongue. Kind of makes you want to have another sip. The, yeah. So. Uh, the palate is definitely it's it's there. It's not as long, uh, but in in the front it still kicks around. Um, it does. The for me the finish is short. It kind of just goes away. Yep. Um, well, I mean, eighty eight proof. But it's eighty eight proof, so yeah, that's what's gonna say. Finish. It's eighty eight proof, so that's gonna happen. Right. Um, there's nothing you really can, you know, you, you get up there and improve, then you get a little more boozy and methanol maybe, and it sticks around a little longer. Uh, but the. Um the layer of flavors in here is mm. kind of nice. I mean, um, like I said, again, I would love to know what, what the mash bill percentages are. Yeah. But um, it brings multiple layers, and like I keep kind of picking up new little, mm. new little notes here. I get a little bit of tea too, as well. Um, just standard like tea, like just um, you know, no milk, no sugar in it. Just you know, just a little hot water and tea in there. Um, I can see that. I think this is new for twenty twenty three. Second pours. I think second pours. Second pour. Two twenty three. Right. Right. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I like it a lot. And at first, I'll be honest with you, the first pour, I was like, it took a little bit because I, I remembered. I was hearing you open this. Yeah, you're right. And the first pour out of it like, yeah. wasn't. It wasn't what I remembered. Right. It really That's the wasn't. problem. I think we were sold um, the first time we had it, yeah. and then it was five or six months until we saw it out there. Right. And forgot about what we right. remembered. Uh, with that bottle, no, and I think I but now it's, that it's been open for like a little a bit, I think I do have a lot of similarities to when we first tried it. Yeah, um, like I said, I think that an oatmeal raisin, oatmeal raisin cookie, instant oatmeal, uh, like those little honey notes in there. Um, How about a little dry chocolate on the back end. There's something on the back end that's got. 
it's not spice, but there's like a little bit of like yeah, not tart, not tart, but there's like almost like like baker's chocolate. A little That's, bit it's, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not sweet chocolate for right. it, but it's definitely a baker's chocolate of some sort. Uh, not not bitter either, mm -hmm. but it's somewhere in between that uh, before bitter and before almost baker's like, chocolate. Almost like coffee. Maybe like coffee. A little bit like that. There's a lot of flavor in it, though, which is nice. It's funny because. If you just like sip a little bit on the tip of your tongue, you think you're gonna get some spice, but then it just mellows, mellows out. out. And it says, no. Super mellow. I'm 80 proof. I'm chill. Right? I'm, I'm good. I'm here to relax. And this is something you can That's crush. exactly you can it. Crush this. Yeah, this is really good. I like it. I do too. Um, MSRP, I think I paid. I think it was, well, it's 45 is what I think I paid. Yeah, I, I think that's what I paid. 45, 40, 50, 50. 50. I don't think I paid over $50 for it. Okay. Um, and I paid a little, you know, somewhere between that 45 to 50, give or take a dollar. Um, but we're seeing them out in stores. Yeah, uh, they're local. Yeah. So yeah, I, I picked it local in the New Haven County area, yep. uh, Wallingford to be exact. Mm. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is good. Yeah. I, I, say, I like, and I like the fact there's a lot of flavor here at 88 proof. And if you know we want to sit, up, you know, with a bunch of people and and, yeah. and have some drinks and have more than more than a couple of drinks, I feel good about that. And it's a lot of flavor. And it's actually, it's and it's I think at that proof point, it's nice to introduce somebody to whiskey. Or that's not a huge whiskey fan is not get turned off so you would you would invite someone to try this that's a new whiskey i person? would i think it, i think there's a lot I, I wouldn't you wouldn't so no. i think there's a lot of like a lot of flavor there but i think it's an easy sipper yeah. and it's, it's not gonna it's not gonna go i'm 110 proof i'm gonna blow you away yeah. but it's it's got good whiskey flavors in there on, on the proof i'm 100 percent with you on that um i just think it's a lot of a lot of layers that someone knew was going to be like overwhelmed with maybe but they might not pick them up right away but you know what but maybe. it's more like, like yeah if we were going to you can't down, go wrong if you, if so, you pour it for somebody so well guys if we're going to sit down with with, with someone that was newer to whiskey and, and have a, a big pour yeah and sit and sip this for 45 minutes okay and you go all right i, I mean i wouldn't i wouldn't you know i wouldn't not pour it to somebody that came right, in and said, right. oh yeah i, I, I want to try that well, sure. i always think but like, i think i would go with something more basic first to see and simple, then go from there simple. okay but there's a lot of levels to this there really is yeah there really is it's well, good nice job guys yeah hey nice job nice we're happy to see you guys doing well and mm -hmm. we'll definitely have to hook up soon um, yeah and uh anyone that's uh has this bottle um let us know what batch it is if it's batch one or whatever yeah uh, what, what do you think about it yeah absolutely you know we'd love to hear other people's opinions on uh on whiskey and their thoughts because again it's our palate it's just the way we we see things yeah. and taste things it doesn't mean it's right or wrong um you know and yeah. that's it get out and enjoy your whiskey yeah thanks that's for it. tuning in all right facebook instagram youtube uh yeah like, like our subscribe. reels and reels too. Those reels. You do, you do. <laughs> All the sparkles and shit. Yeah, yeah you're right. You like that nice. shit. It's good. It's sparkles. Yeah, shit. buddy. All right. Merry <laughs> Christmas experience. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. That was much better than first crack. I agree. Without a doubt. Because mm -hmm. first crack, I think I remember when you opened this. You go, let's open it. I was like, oh. I think it was too like malted barley forward. I think there was something there. I, I, I mean, any any first crack on any bottle sometimes is like, whoa, wait a minute, I don't like this. But that's something. But I once mean, it opens up, that the, thing opened up perfect. But that's.